hey guys this is anil and welcome back to another video of power app so in this video we will see this filter okay so in my previous video we have created this gallery but keep remember that i have uh, done one mistake in my previous video that uh, we have taken a horizontal gallery but we have to taken a vertical gallery the impact of this is because whenever we will go for the filter then you can see this is coming in a single row but if you will take a horizontal gallery then it will coming in a column okay these two grid will come in the column okay so keep in remind then you will take a vertical gallery okay so now uh, in my previous video we have uh, discussed this uh, uh, gallery and also how we can create a new claim form so if you didn't watch my previous video then before proceeding watch first and don't forget to subscribe my channel so go here and uh, create this filter and add a vertical gallery now here i will remove these all and add a button remove this image as well okay and the height of uh, will be 100 i will make it 90 okay and the width will be parent dot width and x will be 0 and y will be header 2 dot height ok so now it's coming as expected now we will go on the template size and the template size will be a uh, 80 okay or even we can make it uh, 75 so we, we we cannot see any scroll or oh, still scroll is coming all right got it why it's scroll is coming so let me make it a uh, wrap count equals to five because we are going to drop five buttons okay so here you can see yes button are coming as expected Okay, so fine now i will create uh you know that uh, i will create a oh why you are coming again 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 item fine here i will create a table and the table parameter will be filter equals to all this will be our first filter now we have to create all filter okay filter means status we have created four or five status so all status i will create here waiting for manager and the third one waiting for settle desk and then settled okay the last is rejected and the value of this button will be this item dot filter okay now i will make it bit large perfect now here we go all waiting for manager waiting for settle desk settle and reject it cool so here uh, i will choose the height of this as dynamic so let me choose the height height will be uh, mm, 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 basically parent dot height minus header to height minus a uh, gal filter gal4 dot height so gal4 i will just rename it as gal filter okay fine and the y will be 
from where it should be start so that will be start from header to dot height plus 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 uh, height of the gal filter gal filter dot height dot height okay so it's coming as we want fine now perfect okay now it looks good one more thing i will do uh uh that uh, yeah fine now uh, the next thing i will go here and uh, here uh, we have uh, item this employee claim so here uh i will create if condition if 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 uh, mm, filter gal filter gal filter dot selected dot filter equals to all okay then i want to display this okay else what i want to display i want to display play filter 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 and i will filter this uh by cal claim filter i will filter employee claim by gal filter dot selected dot filter okay so now here we go okay so here if you will see waiting for manager uh, it's refreshing it will take some time and it will give us the value okay. oh it's not giving us the value waiting for manager waiting for settle desk oh something went wrong let me check this filter again okay if uh, oh status equals to status okay this. because we having the status value uh status value in the employee claim list okay so we are going to filter the status value okay now if i'll go and waiting for manager and waiting for settle desk settled and rejected okay so we are getting result as expected now one more thing because in the employee claim if you will see here uh this is just a status value but uh might be here we can get all record not might be actually we are storing all users claims in a single sharepoint list okay so if you will go here you can see all created by landing in the single sharepoint employee claim list okay so we are filtering this employee claim list actually so if you didn't watch my previous video then before proceeding watch first so that you can get the schema of this sharepoint list as well okay now uh, i want to filter the sharepoint list by the user as well okay so suppose if uh, you know user is different in that case what should need needs to be done okay so it, it goes to yes then fine so here uh, what i will do and created employee claim mm, no 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 that's fine employee filter equals to all then we are going to do 
emails here but here i will do just create apply claim okay i have to apply a filter here as well filter because we have to create it by dot email equals to user means the current user dot dot email okay fine so the same filter i will apply in the next so look once i will format it you can better understand okay so first filter was look so first if gal filter dot selected uh, dot filter equals to all then filter this employee claim list by the current user okay and if there will be any other status means if all status then uh, filter by user only if there is any other status then filtered by the selected status and created by okay so here we go format text the first filter is if a uh, user is selecting all then we are filtering our sharepoint list by the created by email equals to current user dot email else we are filtering our sharepoint list by the current selected status of the uh, the from the gallery and the created by dot email equals to current user dot email okay so it will filter first by the status and second by the current user okay so suppose if i created here only two records then i can get only two records and suppose there are five records and two records is created by anil and three are created by sunil then i will get only my records here okay so the filter is working as expected now the next thing i have to do this edit okay and this view as well for that what i will do i will go here and here i will go and add a edit and the next one is view right okay so i will make it a small fine now this edit uh, edit form and new claim form so new claim form is our form name here if we will see in the new claim request you can see a new claim form okay so this is the new claim form so on this click we are going to open the edit form and we are also going to navigate on new claim request okay the next same we are going to open view form and that will be new claim form and we are going to navigate on new claim request clear now if i'll click here i can see okay and if i'll click on view i can see the view value but the thing is what you need to do if you know uh, i'll, I'll, I'll uh, let you know one more thing here if you will go in the item in the item gal all claim else you will get this screen look if you will click here you will get no item to display okay and the same if you will go here no item to display in that case what you need to do go in your form in the screen in new claim form in the item then type here gal all claim dot selected means this this gallery dot selected item okay because we want to display the selected item in this form okay now if i'll go in all claim i can see edit 
okay now if i want to update this suppose health checkup for visa suppose underscore zero zero two if i'll click on submit if we will see health checkup for us visa underscore zero zero two if i want to see i can see the record okay so what we learn in this video we will learn first how to create a filter then how we can uh, you know uh, edit and view the form okay so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and stay tuned stay connected we will meet in our next video and what will be our next video uh, that we will discuss uh, you know that approval center okay so basically i'll show you the approval center you know uh, here we can see the user has created uh, this uh, claims now if the claims has been created then how a manager and how a settled desk user can approve or reject this uh, you know uh, this request okay so here i cannot see any claim because uh, the user are different so that's why i'm not getting any data but definitely uh, whenever we will create the request and uh, the waiting for manager will be a different user waiting for settled desk will be a different user we will get all the data in approval center okay and that we will do by a uh, microsoft uh, workflow that will be uh, you know uh, power automate okay so Thanks for watching our video. Have a nice day. Bye bye. See you.